all you cool cats, this is Mina, and welcome back to another episode of Ultra Despair Girls. We are going through Toa Tower, and, um, I don't know what's going on with Toko, to be honest. Uh, it seems hmm. like Toko's keeping something from us. I, I can't imagine it's just gonna let us go up that elevator. Alright, so let's... I feel like I need to, like, do a survey of the ground floor. Hiro... Hironosaurus. Real name, Hiroko Hagakure. Even though it was a nurse before, it's really an evil demon who devours hospital patients. They say it was really naughty even when it was older. It has a weird thing about its son, so lure it out with a picture of it or something. She's a nurse? Never saw that coming. I also have a feeling that like going over there is gonna activate something. There's kids over there. I don't know if I wanna. I'm, I'm good on bullets and stuff, but I remember they always lock you out. Of <laughs> been a while. Roger. Oh my gosh, I am overloaded on um, Sold. money. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and Sold. buy leaves. This one too? Yeah. Okay. I see a sparkle. 19 years ago, Toa Tower was built as a radio tower that could receive and transmit signals from a wide area. Under the design of Yuki Shizo Ibarra, the tower became not just a high-tech installation, but also the number one sightseeing spot in Toa City. Of all the countless amusements to be found within Toa Tower, by far the most popular is the sightseeing towers and decks. These offer extraordinary beautiful views. Why not enjoy the Toa City skyline and immerse yourself in the scenery? And I also saw this sparkle. Letter from Toa Tower employees. What's going to happen at work from now on? I really hate myself for thinking about work at a time like this, but I wonder if Future Foundation or the police will come in and eradicate the Monokumas by tomorrow. I hope so. If they don't, it'll be bad for me. I have my job to think about. What an odd thing to spend your time worrying about. What? Are you seriously gonna climb all those stairs without trying the elevator? Oh, yeah. Yo, I have a bad feeling about the elevator, though. Oh, there's a sparkle here, too. This is what I hate about you, Demon Chan. Getting old means you're getting close to being completely worn out, but demons keep saying things like, you should respect your elders, like being older makes you superior. I feel like they're causing their own downfall. If they're old and worn out, they should act like it and bow down to the sparkly new youth. And if that happened, we wouldn't have to do this paradise plan. Well, actually, we still would. No matter how cute Cockroach Chan looks bowing down, you gotta kill them. It's super obvious they're harmful, but even if they weren't, they'd still deserve to be killed. It's instinct. It's put into our hearts and brains. Like the same way we think Poo Poo and Wee Wee's are funny, right? This has nothing to do with that, but uh, something I've always believed and something I try to remind myself no matter how much older I get is that um, it doesn't matter what age you are, respect is not something that you should just be uh, given as like a, a matter of fact. Respect needs to be earned no matter who you are. Um, you should treat everyone with, with respect. Hmm? 
It's not moving. Look, a card reader. <sighs> Looks like we need a specific card to activate the elevator. I don't have a card. Same here. If that's the case, then let's just give up and head back. Well, wait! If we can't use the elevator, we'll just have to climb the stairs. <laughs> are, are you serious? You want to walk all the way up there? How many floors are there? A lot. If we climb and take breaks every so often, I'm sure we'll be all right. Jeez, I'm starting to think I liked you better when you were pessimistic all the time. Will there be Monokumas here, too? Oh, without a doubt. If you're worried, we could always turn around. See, this is what I mean, though. Toko's being strangely, uh... Like, like, Toko was the one for the while that's just been like, you know, keep pushing on, keep going forward, hmm. stop turning around. But now she's all like, hey, how about we just give up? And that's, that's really weird. So I think there's something wrong with this tower. What doesn't make sense about Toko, though, is that, like, if there was something seriously wrong with this tower, why didn't, why didn't she just tell me? What is that? <laughs> something popped out again! Who the hell made all these things? Is that... Is that it? I was scared. Um... Does it make sense why she wouldn't just flat out tell me that there's something wrong with this place? So... Maybe it's not the tower. Maybe there's, like, some sort of weird reason she doesn't want to come here. What should we do? We can't move on like this. Oh, looks like we gotta give up this time for sure. Okay, yes, look! What is it? There's nothing wrong. It can't be this place that's wrong. There must be some weird reason she doesn't want to come here. So, either she doesn't want to transmit to Future Foundation, or she doesn't want go up here for some weird reason? Why wouldn't she? I don't get it. I told you, I'm not giving up. Let's try looking for another way to get up. Couldn't you just climb over those bars? Your persistence is starting to remind me of that other guy. The ceiling is a fish tank? Amazing! Ooh, look at all the fish swimming around! Toko, you like fish? Maybe it's better if we turn back. Sparkle! Future Foundation, the police. It was naive of me to rely on them. I don't know when, but I remember seeing an article about them. Future Foundation is connected with the mastermind of the incident somehow. So no one will save me. Nothing will save me. I'm at my wit's end. Just like my other co-workers. I'm, go I'm going to be killed. It's hopeless. I can't do anything to stop it. They are coming. This arcade machine is everywhere, isn't it? If we can roll that round thing, I think we can get all of them at once. Okay. It's time for a tutorial, so let me tell you a little more about knockback. Knockback is also effective against the ball monokuma that appeared earlier. Ball monokumas that are knocked back roll, and they keep rolling until they go boom. Also, rolling ball monokumas can wipe out all enemies in their path. However, life is not that easy. While ball monokumas have their limbs out, knockback won't work. Doesn't that suck? In those circumstances, I'd use dance. If you shoot a knockback while it's dancing, they'll get blown back for sure. Try it out. Careful. We have to move so we don't get caught. Oh, 
right by that door. Mannequins of Monokumas? Did the children do this too? Some of those don't have their little legs attached to anything, so I think they're real gonna jump out. Oh, is that a sparkle? Hmm. I feel like I've... Did I get all of them? Also, this has to be the right way. This has to be the right way, and that has to be the wrong way. If that was a hidden sparkle, then this has to be that way. anyway even if we get a little hole they won't fix us they just throw us away don't say that that is the weirdest thing ever I don't this place is creepy I have a feeling I definitely missed a sparkle a hidden kid I just get this feeling in complete disarray from the tragedy. It was our very own Toa Group Chairman, Tokuichi, Tokuichi Toa, who undertook the task of managing peace and order. Though he was not experienced politically, he showed remarkable aptitude at listening to the voices of the people. The residents of this city owe all the peace and prosperity we enjoy to Tokuichi Toa. However, despite our progress, the future remains uncertain. If we are struck again with a disaster equally as powerful as that incident we will not be able to withstand. We await the fast recovery of the government and national order to be restored. <laughs> Obviously we need to go up there, but let's check around the start corner first. Oh, no, 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 no. There are fake Monokumas down here for sure. Yep. <laughs> yep, it's those two. yellow range increases. I don't know what that even means, but I, 
I guess go ahead and pick it because I'm not using those other two. Oh, there's a sparkle over there. Okay. So I think I can use that dancing ball monokuma thing again. I'm scared of something coming up behind me. Spiritual detective Nekobi in the ghost of the Dragon Palace. Nekobi, a high school girl who can see things that cannot be seen by others, receives a strange request. Please make it so that Master can no longer see the ghosts of fish. Meanwhile, in the city, a fugitive serial bomber keeps targeting the fourth floor buildings, and there's a, the romance of Tobari Yano, the fourth volume of the Hesitation series that connects this world to the world, to this world and the world to come. Well, putting aside the fact that I can practically smell how crappy this book is. Which reminds me. I remember you said earlier that you can see ghosts or things that can't be seen. Hmm. Well, it's not really about seeing. It's more like I just know. Like, I'm feeling a pretty bad aura in this place, so I know ghosts must be around. What? B but you can't see them. What makes you think you're sensing ghosts? In the end, you're just making an assumption, right? No, oh, there was this time when, just once, I was actually... I was able to actually see a ghost. Um... It was in third grade. I heard a strange sound in the night, so I woke up. I turned my head, and then bam! My teacher from cram school was at my bedside. That's when I knew. Who is the living spirit of my old teacher? What makes you think it was a living spirit and not just a burglar who looked like him? No, oh, this spirit kept... No, the spirit knew my name. He kept whispering, Komaru, Komaru. And when he noticed I was awake, he apologized to me and asked not to tell anyone what I saw. I'm sure. My real teacher would obviously never do something like that, so it must have been his ghost. And? And did you um, ever see that teacher again? What the fudge? Well, that's the thing. When I went back to school, I found out he mysteriously quit. Spooky, right? Could it be? The teacher's feelings must have become a living spirit to say goodbye to me before he quit. Yeah, I think he was probably just a trespassing sex offender. Some teacher gets off watching grade schoolers sleep. <laughs> Away, Toko. You shouldn't even joke about that. Your kind of genuine stupidity is even more rare than actual ghosts. Oh, that's <gasps> creepy. Was there really nothing in here besides that? Okay then. I guess we'll check out the boys' bathroom? Ayeka Hanayama, a well-known demon that used to be in an idol group. Oh, she was probably with Mizuno, right? It's a dangerous demon who makes boy demons fall in love with its sweet smell, devours men whole. It has a temper because it always 
got put in the corner on the stage, so it's super crazy now. That side of it is that side of it is also kind of cute though. Nope. I kept expecting something to just jump out at me. That's something that's not good for my nerves. So I'm gonna jump out here. Nope. Calm down! If we fall from here, we die for sure. Why don't you calm down? Children's Paradise Preamble. We won't try to fool you with fancy words or say something you don't understand. Let's just be happy as kids. That's it. The demons aren't needed because they're selfish and treat children like they own us. So we're just things to them. They think we do, we do not have feelings. They lack imagination. We don't need them, so we're going to kill them. The paradise we build will be awesome. No parents, no chores, no school, no homework. There will be a few rules, but that's it. Respect one another. Be so good that you will become a role model for others. When you feel like you're becoming a demon, kill yourself. Follow the rules and help build a paradise of only children. Like, I'm sure that the little ultimate art was the one who, like, drew this one. But it's written so nicely that it makes me think that, like, Nagisa was the one who directed it or something. There's only one real key. Will you be able to find the real one? It's locked! Oh, jeez. So once again, we have to play along with these little brats. <laughs> it's probably a good idea to use detect around here. Has three three hoops equals equals the key. Okay, show me that again. Three hoops in a row equals the key. Or can I is it look through the three hoops and I will see the key? Okay, I think that's it. Now, we can open the door. Let's hurry and get outside. We're finally out. I wonder how much longer to the top. We're still on the third floor. At this rate, we won't reach the top if we had a whole day. Those are probably real. Maybe not. They have, like, the shadows under them. No, I don't want to die. I don't want to be killed. I don't want to end up in a bag of blood. No, please, no, no, not the bag. Not the bag, 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 not the bag. Not the bag. I guess. <laughs> Who is that? Who's there? Oh my gosh. Uh, 
wait a sec. You're not a kid, right? Y yeah. Ah, don't shoot! I swear I won't hurt you guys. He looks familiar? Question mark. Who is he? Is he? No, he... For a second, I thought he might be related to Biakia, but. Didn't Byakuya's entire family get killed? Maybe he's... he's related to... Chihiro? Because he was messing with the laptop. I could be wrong. Then why are you in a place like this? It's suspicious. <laughs> that face. I was hiding. I figured the kids wouldn't find me here. And what's with the laptop? Oh, this? I picked it up at the city's electronics store. I thought I might be able to remove the wristband using this, so I was trying to program something. Wait, did you say wristband? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, this. He's either related to Chihiro or Togami, but I'm, I'm guessing because I saw him with the computer, it makes me think that he's related to Fujisaki. I got captured by this weird looking group of five kids, and they put this on me. I tried to remove it, but as you can see, that didn't work too well. I knew it! I'm the same, see? Ah, that wristband! Then you were also put into this cruel game? I see. I'm sorry. Is now really the time for that? You're in the same boat, right? And I really doubt it's a relative of Togami because I feel like if it was a relative of T Togami, there would be way more arrogance here. <laughs> but if I had just figured out how to get this off, I could have helped you too. Did you know? With this wristband on, you can't leave the city. So as long as we can't remove this wristband, we can't be saved. It's going to be all right. We'll be saved. What makes you say that? We're going to ask Future Foundation for help removing the bands. We came here to call them. Uh, um, what do you mean? Uh, oh, you want the details? Um, there's a special radio all over the city that's raspberry, and we use this thing. Wow, you suck. <laughs> oh, the jammer. If we get to the top of this tower, we might be able to get through. I'm amazed that he understood what she meant when she said raspberry. You actually understood that? Yeah. But all the way up the stairs, that's impossible. I know, but the elevator won't move. We don't have a card. A card? The elevator security card? Do you have it? Uh, sorry. It's not that. No, I... I can't really speak freely. Uh, well, maybe. What? Talk sense, damn it! If you want to move the elevator, I... Well, I might be able to do it. R really I've worked security before, so I figured I might be able to get around that card reader. But there's no way you'd believe someone you just met. I, I mean, I'm saying all this, but I can't even figure out how to get this stupid band off. That's not true. Please, we need your help. I beg you, please help us, mister. Huh? Well, okay, I'll try. Yes! Thank you so much! Seriously? You're really quick to rely on people. But what are you gonna do? If we're gonna move the elevator, don't you have to go back down? Well, it's better than needlessly climbing up more stairs, right? Let's do our best, okay? Shut up! I don't want you cheering me up. <laughs> you guys get along well. <laughs> exactly why do you think that? 